Well, hello. It's time for another lesson on your flutes. Hope you have them out and your dots lined up, ready to go. We're going to start by playing the E flat major scale that we worked on in a previous video, but this time we're going to play it using a rhythm that makes our tongue work. Remember that we're going to use the tongue to spit the tones out so that they're, they have clearer beginnings. So we'll start with E flat, the low one, where we have the pinky on here and the first finger here. Very nice. Well, I think you're learning that scale. If you've been playing it um, along with the video or on your own, and you're starting to bloom like the flowers behind me, you'll notice we're starting to get more flowers in the garden. So spring is coming. We're going to um, work on the um, piece that we gave you right before the break, um, Ode to Joy by Ludwig van Beethoven, who is... Um, someone that all musicians revere. Of course, he lived many years ago in the 17 and 1800s, so many hundreds of years ago. But uh, his music has lived on beyond his own life. <clears throat> and you have printed music, but I'm going to do a quick screen share so you can remember what it looks like. And I think this is it. There we go. And we're just going to go um, from the beginning. Let's see. I wonder if I can use this. I'm going to try out this special thing. We're going to go from the beginning up. Whoa! Get out of my way bar there. We're going to go from the beginning up here just to this spot here. So the beginning starts and we're going to just play this A line which we play here. Then we go along and play there. You'll see how it says A, M and H. That means melody and harmony. And so we're just going to play the M line for now and see how that goes. So it starts out with what we call an introduction. One, two, three, breathe in. Now that last note on the first line is A flat, the high A flat. Remember we worked on A flat in, in the scale, the low one. But if you make your uh, air blowing hole that you're blowing out of much smaller and rounder, you get the high one. We call that the high octave. Why don't you try it again with me? Ready? Good. Now you're ready to start again. We're going to play that introduction again and we'll go on to the second line after that where the melody starts. From the beginning. Two, three, breathe in.
we'll stop there for now because that's the main melody and then there's an, another section that we can look at another time. Well, that was playing it straight through. Now let's go over some of the things that are a little bit challenging. Let's look here at the first measure of the second line where we start on G and go to A, a flat and then B flat and then back down again. So it, it with me slowly starting on G. Here we go. One, two, three, four. On that part you've got most of the most of the difficulties um, conquered and then there's one little place we have what we call eighth notes down here um, I think that's measure 14 if you've got your printed music you can see it's an F there um, it's the fourth measure of the third staff line there and that part sounds like this There's two measures that are almost exactly the same, except the first time you go to E flat and the second time you go to F. So let's try that together, starting right here on this F in the fourth measure of the third line. Ready? Two, three. And then we have one more thing to think about. This G, which is at the end of the third line, you'll notice this curved line, which the last bit of the curved line is over here on the fourth line of music. That means that this G and this G are added together to make a note that lasts for two beats. So starting here, I want you to hear how that sounds. So you see, I didn't, I didn't repeat this G here, I just carried it over and then I played the new G here. Let's try that together. Um, I'll speak it and you can either speak it with me or you can play with me. Here we go. Ready, speak. E flat, F, G, B flat, G, G, A flat, B flat. Yeah. Okay, now let's try playing it. Two, three, three. Yes. All right. I think we're ready to play the whole thing again. And we'll start right at the beginning, and I'll play melody with you. One, two, three, four.
And there it is, the Ode to Joy. You know, this comes from a great big symphony of Beethoven's, and you can see at the top of the music there that it says Symphony Number no. 9, right up here. And it is a long symphony. It goes on for quite a long time. And the Ode to Joy is toward the end. And there's one place where the music changes a lot of different ways, of course. It doesn't just keep repeating itself. And there's one place where um, the piccolo, and you've seen the piccolo, it's half as long as the flute, comes in. Oh, I wish I'd brought it out, outside with me today. But the, there's a little drum and a cymbal, and it sounds like a band marching by. And let's see if you can hear the tune. And that's Ode to Joy too. just another part of it. Well, that's the end of our lesson. We'll do more next time, maybe add in the harmony, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.